So, if you watched yesterday's video, then you saw us attempt to do a quick and easy project of the day, which turned out to not be so quick and easy. Uh, our project was to clean out the shed, get everything organized so we could better store the feed for the animals and get that stuff out of the basement. And it hadn't been cleaned out in like 10 years, so there was probably some junk in there that could be thrown away. And then we discovered this. So as I'm sitting, thinking and pondering how I could approach a solution to this problem, I decided I should reach out to my buddy Clark. Clark has built some pretty amazing things over the years. I figured he'd know a good approach. So I sent Clark this picture, and his response was a two-paragraph technical gobbledygook, something that made my eyes glaze over after the first sentence. So I asked if he would kindly clarify and his response was this picture. So I stared at this picture for about 30 seconds and determined that Clark is probably a genius. So then we went to Lowe's, picked up some stuff, and now we're gonna try to solve this problem. Like many forks in the road of life, this is either gonna turn out amazingly well or end up a complete dumpster fire. Just for the record, I told him that this thing has been standing for 10 years, that we should just put everything back and pretend we didn't see it. Okay, got three pressure treated four by four posts that are eight feet long, that eventually, uh, hopefully I'll use to uh, do the milking parlor uh, lean to. But for now, they're gonna be used for this magic trick. So, let's see what we can do. It's really rotted. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so much for being precise. My square. <laughs> you don't like my square? Sitting in poison ivy. That post is hollow. 
You're making all the termites very unhappy. So I think it was the February planning video um, where I mentioned how all the gloves we buy, no matter how expensive they were, they always fell apart. And one of you guys had recommended that we get uh, gloves from Harbor Freight. And we didn't go to Harbor Freight, but we went to Amazon and we got like the identical gloves that they recommended. And these things work great. They're like a dollar a piece and they work fantastic. Yeah, they're like socks um, or sweaters dipped in that rubber stuff that you dip like uh, pliers in, like the handles of pliers for uh, the grippy part. They're really grippy. I mean, I wouldn't put together a fence with one, but they're cool for general stuff. Yeah, socks for your hands. Okay, so I got a 14 foot two by six, lag bolted to all the studs in this wall, which kind of has strained it out a little bit. And then I got this contraption ratchet strap holding the wall to this wall. I cut a, a few three foot pegs out of half inch rebar and drove them down through the sole plate of this wall into the foundation to hopefully hold this wall from moving. Now, I'm going to put some diagonals from the ground to the top plate of this wall to keep the whole thing from doing this. I'm a little teapot. How do you do that? Okay, I also have three four by four eight foot posts driven through the wall, sticking out about two feet on the outside of the wall. We're going to jack those up. It's a little floppy. show you guys how much this is off the foundation. You can see the entire wall is off. It's on back here, sort of-ish. And there it goes completely off. Okay. These are six ton bottle jacks. Hopefully, they will do the trick. That's not floppy at all. No. Evie says she thinks this is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so the plan is jack these three beams up and then go inside 
winch the wall or ratchet the wall in. So right now it's tight. So the walls, when we jack it up, should not go that way. So we just get it up about this far off of the foundation. Get it jacked in or get it cranked in here. Try and clean up the bottom underneath that sole plate. Then I've got another uh, 12 foot 2x4 that I can use as a new sole plate if I need to. And then we'll set her down on the blocks, drive some rebar down. I've got this diagonal here so that it holds the, the roof part from moving as we wiggle the wall. Here goes nothing. And we'll put another one, another ratchet strap from this pole to that, this front of this wall, just in case. I think we have control over this structure. It's creaking, it's making noise. down yet. So let's keep going. on that jack so he has to lower the jack and put something underneath it so that the jack will get higher. Well we're almost above the blocks. bottom plate, side piece, crap, and just come off. Day two. Yesterday I spent most of the morning editing and we started this project in the afternoon, kind of ran out of daylight. So, this is what I did 
Uh, everything is in place. The wall is being jacked up. I still have a little bit more to go. I'm going to get this post leveled as we do this and probably move it. Uh, I unfastened this um, corner brace so when we're cranking on it we don't break something. And there were like two missing blocks out of the foundation. I replaced those. Uh, and this corner right here, if you can come over here, this corner right here is pretty rotted, so uh, I'm going to cut this off and make just put this block here and we'll set it back down on this block and then put our new sole plate, uh, bottom plate, from like that stud back. Uh, so it'll be basically a one block stem wall. And hopefully that'll work. So uh, I'm going to finish jacking this up, crank it in, set it down, and fasten it to the blocks. And then we're going to do the moonwalk and drink beer. So um, all this rotted junk I kicked out and exposed that original bottom plate, which is actually not in terrible shape. So that's good news. Um, this was kind of a skirt board which is trash. All this, probably I'm going to cut a line here once we're done and figure out a way to patch this maybe? I don't know, it's terrible. Like Stop it, you're taking apart the shed. <laughs> It's like paper. Stop it! Now there's a hole in the wall. Yeah. It's really rustic now. Okay, let's jack this baby up. bolt was not even in anything so we're going to level this post put some dirt down in that hole tamp it down bolt this through the two double top plate into the post hopefully that will work better than what it was doing Well, that looks better. That business. Oh no, it doesn't sound good. Looks like it's clear. How much to that was it? No. Nope. But there's still some good stuff there. This is just gone. Did now. Okay, this is 
um, one of them, hey, y'all watch this moment. So I got this wedge between that block and the top of the post to hopefully keep the post going this way as I crank on this. I don't have enough straps to there's nothing else to connect to. If this doesn't work, I'm going to back the truck in here and hook to the ball hitch. But we're this close. And the jack popped. But still holding. And that jack popped. Okay, so this whole thing is there's like a gap. So I filled it all in with two by four chunks. Everything's pressure treated, so I think I've got it all wedged and shimmed. Drove nails down into the uh, boards. I hammer aided the nailifiers into the wall shoe. <laughs> also I uh, bolted this support back on, hacked that off, wedged and shimmed it onto a block. None of this is really supporting anything. I mean it, it's there. It'll hold this uh, 2x6 has really straightened this wall out pretty well. I'm pretty impressed. I say that and then when I release that strap, it's probably going to go. But right now it looks better than it ever has since I've lived here. So next I'm going to make diagonal supports for this. And that's what I'm going to do now. inch lag screws for the fender washer.
watch Crazy Russian Hacker on YouTube. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Malbutori where safety is number one priority and today I'll be making pegs out of these half inch rebar using the Spini Kati gadget. Boom! Think that'll hold them all together? Let's go see. Pegs, these are incredible. Okay, so I drilled holes down through all these boards, and we'll see if this is going to work. We could still do what you wanted to do in the first place and just put everything back and pretend like it never happened. I'm going to put one right there just for good measure. Okay, here goes nothing. go on record as saying I am pretty darn impressed with how this project turned out. Um, what started off as being a me project and cleaning out the shed and getting it organized for the goats and chicken feed uh, ended up turning into a monster project and problem for Jeremy. So, And he took it on and um, with uh, his tenacity and ingenuity and also Clark's in coming up with this plan. I'm, I'm pretty darn impressed with how it turned out. We got the wall back on the foundation, um, had a lot of issues that cropped up as you can tell. Looks like we might need to do a little bit of repairs on the walls. There's a few holes from rotted boards, but all in all this was an amazing success and um, I don't know, I'm always impressed when uh, Jeremy does awesome stuff like this, so good job. Shout out to my boy Clark for helping me with this and sending me that insane drawing that turned out to be madly genius. Isn't he awesome? I just realized now we need to clean all this mess up.
next video. You have to have a slippery surface. Well, that was like better. Drags on your can't even walk on gravel. <laughs> that moonwalk and boots? Moonwalk and bogs. Socks for your gloves. Socks for your gloves? No. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> I can't even do it with a straight face. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, it's getting late.